Hello everyone, I'm Shatosh Sultan Shakpur and in this video I'm gonna show you fiber based SQL injection. So let's do it. Before doing that, let me confirm you that I'm just doing it for educational purpose. So don't do it for your personal use. As you can see that this is a fully working site. So let's check that it's vulnerable or not. Yes, it's vulnerable. So let's, let's go to back to the regular site. Now let's find out the column number. It has less than 10 columns. It has six or more than six columns. It has six columns, right? So let's find out the column number, vulnerable column number using union statement. As you can see that a firewall name mod secret has captured our data. For bypassing that, we need to follow the following format. Five digit data. Yeah. So as you can see that now we got the vulnerable points, right? Two, here three and six. Yeah. So now let's go to a point, I'm choosing three and write user to check that it works or not. So here we got, here we got the user information, that means it works. So let's find the table name. I'll use group concat. As you can see, after executing the query, uh, we got another another firewall attack like mod security again. So, mod security actually captures three types of data in union, form, and information schema. So, we need to bypass the form and information schema too. As you can see that we got the table name list. So we will work with table admin, okay? So here we select the database and put table admin here. And we will find out the column name first. Column name from this one of columns. Uh, table name equal to table admin. Make sure that you don't provide any space here. So as you can see that here I got the column name of admin table, right? So now we got to know the table name, the column name. So we don't need this information scheme again. Let's write it down on that one. Okay, provide a see here. So you can see that that we got the data. But for better understanding, we can put a bracket like this, right? You can see that we got the data. This is the information of one user. So like that here, you can see they have some login. So you can use the data to log in into the system. Thanks for watching.